Kaloakan contained the number one guy of Pampanga that is Justin Balti Batazar and the one that actually went up against him in the jump ball is what they need some youth on their front line yeah and also Junjun Batsubre is no stranger to going up against Balti Baltazar these two went up against each other in the collegiate ranks and right away he delivers with the first basket turnover on the other end Balti's on the run two on two action Archie Concepcion is fouled that we're seeing here in the early goings of the game one. Now, why don't we take this time to listen in to Javi Palanya with his keys to victory, Sir Pampanga. Taking advantage of the experience of their bigs in the post area. Number three is limit Kaloka to one and done possessions. If they have been able to crash the offensive glass against Balti Baltazar, the whole Kaloka Bata Batam Kankalu should do against this whole Giant Lantern squad. They have to be able to stymie the production and not. Let Pampanga take advantage of their athleticism. This expectations. That's now. It is four to three. Turnover forced. Jun Bonsubre. Oh, he's off to a good start. Two baskets already here in the first quarter. Jun Bonsubre is playing sick today. He's not a hundred percent, and yet he's off to a great start as JLC answers back. In front line as well. Pwede nilang gamitin yung mga fouls nila in. Bring the physicality to this very talented Pampanga front line. Ooh, a three-pointer coming in from MJ Garcia, much to the delight of the Pampanga crowd. Much Pampangenius here in the venue. And MJ Garcia, ayon niya rin pahiyain ng mga fans sa Pampanga na tumipon dito sa Palayan City just to see him play. And then Rail Cervantes answers back with the three of his own. Almost halfway done in the opening quarter of game number two. Baltazar goes to Archie, our reigning homegrown player of the year. The pull-up and the make. That's already three points in the game for Archie Concepcion. Each and everyone has to contribute because they are the ones who to be able to their families. In this game, they need to anticipate the defense that is being played. They for sure are not taking this light, Amix and Javi. That's a nice report from Sidney Crespo as June Bonsubre scores. Oh. And recovered by Real. Three-pointer. That's short. Rebound Encho. Forward pass. Neil Tolentino. 2-1-2. Two two. They go to Balti. That's good. That should have been a lift against Neil Tolentino. Have as their signatures. And here's Paul Sanga with the steal. The beat to Jennifer. And that's basket and one. Two-on-one. Fast break. Right. Second round with Bacola just last year. That's why his goal is to at least reach the North Division Finals. Binuya will now go to Balti. Four on the shot clock. Balti will turn around again, the one-hander. This is the first time in the series that I've seen it storming. Pampanga led after one, 24 to 11 in game number one. Palencia on the run, nice feed to Paul Sanga. Excellent delivery right there by Irvin Palencia. That running the floor here in the first quarter. That's the second time that we've seen him run on the break. Encho left wide open and he ties the ball game. This is going to be Paul Sanga off of the cross. We have 11 to work with. Not much of a differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Gabi Espinas, he will score. That's too easy. Face up action in the low block. Against Mate Losan. Number three back in Pampanga this coming Monday. Your shots in an efficient manner, as you mentioned. In second, you've been able to keep Pampanga below their efficiency rate. But Echeserano does have something to say about that in terms of outside shooting. That's. This one will translate tonight. Back to you guys. You can really sense the pride no, of Coach Robert Season in the statements that he gave to Sidney Crespo as Joko Tayuktong scores inside. And for you, that's the Giant Lanterns. That's a big testament of your squad. That's how much he trusts his boys. And Jacob Galicia answering the call right away. Kakapasok pala bang niya sa laro na to. The regular season, no, maraming beses na rin naman na sila yung uh, nasa huli. They were trailing up until the fourth quarter. Some comebacks as well made by the Lanterns. This isn't too hard for them, or this shouldn't be too hard. The Prince Cassin score again on the set by the Batam Kangkalu. Gabi Espinas locating Cassin on the baseline cut. Luis Sangalang, that's a strong side. 
Yu Pang is down by one. Four minutes gone by in the second. MJ will fire again. That's short. Rebound Balti. That's an easy one. Well, MJ Garcia, I tell you, he's not been shy to hoist it up from the outskirts. And the San Juan Knights. We are in Palayan City for Caloacan versus Pampanga. Mac Paracael versus Arvin Santos. FEU versus FEU. Mac Paracael scores. And the, the legendary Arwin Santos on that matchup. Baracael has been a late substitution in this game compared to game one where he started for the Batang Kangaluas. Baltasar has been starting to get on a roll here in the second quarter. The defense of Jeremy Cabanag. Baracael again, this time he pulls up and makes that three pointer. So outside of those two possessions where Cabanag. And Tayong Tong took rush shots for the Batang Kangalu. Whenever they went to Mac Barakael on those two isolation plays on the right side, they were able to... It's now 32 all. Inigo will go to Barakael. Again, against Arwin. Mac just really challenging his senior. Turnaround shot. Oh my goodness! What a clinic by Mac Barakael! Wow, a Coach Robert season. Santos, the fake, the drive, and the turnover. Achi Inigo with numbers. Achi to Paul Sanga with the finish. We haven't seen Paul Sanga hit his stride from the good decisions. A couple of baskets on the break and also a setup earlier in the first quarter. Oh, that's a nice counter on the other end. John Lloyd Clemente with a three pointer. Lencho, who averaged 11.7 rebounds per game for Muntinlupa. Here's the play drawn up by Coach Robert. And that's a conversion by Paul Sanga. Six seconds, Balti Baltazar against John Lee Valin. Encho Serrano with two threes to his name. Going to MJ, his three-pointer is good! <laughs> Launching from downtown. The score at halftime is 42 to 38 in game number two. Knights and the Vanguards. As now we begin the second half, that's a good look. Cervantes from downtown. <laughs> you see Posana, he already knew that Real Cervantes was going to be able to knock that down, flashing the three sign with both hands after he made that pass. It's now 42 to 41. JLC, that's his spot. And now this is a guy that Kalookan first half, he continues to be in that kind of role here for the Giant Lanterns to start the third quarter with that three-point shot. In the first half, you asked everybody to not forget about the scoring abilities of JLC as Jay Cervantes scores inside. Remember, NU Bulldogs in the UAAP. As Serrano bounces, Balti will finish. That's too easy. How many times have we seen that have Encho Serrano and Justin Balti Baltazar involved in the two-man game? Great. Pocket pass by Encho, finding Baltazar on the roll. But what about Kalooka <laughs> coming out of the locker rooms on the effort, giving Balti Baltazar another opportunity in the offensive glass? But good defensive stance by Junjun Bonsubre that leads to another three pointer here for El Cervantes. 47 49. Encho Serrano, two man game. Serrano drives. Serrano, basket and one. I think this is also the time that Serrano... Now we go back to the keys to victory for the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. And number one, rev up your in first half. Number two, you shall not pass. We talked about how they shouldn't let Kalookan set up in the half court because that is one of the strengths of the Batang Kangalu. They haven't been able to do the mark on that just because they were still out-rebounded by four in the first half, but still a better job compared to the first half of game one. Lastly, as we see another three-point shot there, turn of the Pampanga squad, because Balti Baltasar was able to score eight points in that first half. Here's Balti, feet inside. Nice escape, you mentioned, even though this time around he gets double-teamed by Kalova. What a luxury for the Giant Lantern. Some miss there by Bonsubre, forward pass. Two on one, Bahio will finish. Not as productive as he was in the first half of game one, but... Here's MJ Garcia, he drives, MJ escapes. Oh, Chosa's defense there, careful as well. Baracael, nice fake. 
he just got Bahia flying and Mark Barakayel scores. Well, at least on the offensive side of things. Oh, these Pampanga guards have certainly been not afraid to shoot from the outside. Hayong Tong saw an opening and he exploited it. That's one of the strengths of Joko Tayanko. The chance now for Kaloogan to regain the lead. Paul Sanga, he catches, he fires and scores! Wow, three-point shooting here in the 64 all. Give and go, Paul Sanga in and out. Ball tapped and recovered by Pampanga. Archie on the run. Concepcion will fly up and under with some magic in the air. 6 to 64 as we end the third quarter. Morano, tough turnaround. That's too strong. And Kalaokan's on the run. Joko Tayong Tong, one man to beat. Tayong Tong will score. Nothing much Raymond Binuya could have done in that play. That's a great. Enter goes to Binuya. Now on to Balti against Real Cervantes. Balti escapes. Two plus one. Matias against Balti, tough reverse. Numbers for Pampanga. Garcia to Encho. Serrano, lefty layup. Very dangerous when you gamble. Not for Pampanga, they could have rotated the ball further. Cervantes for the tie. Yes, sir. What about Real Cervantes really delivering here in this game para dito sa Kalokan Batang Kangalu. A starter here in this match. Eight deadlocks. Now it's broken up. As Encho Serrano just answered back with his trip that Kalookan wanted in that recycle after the offensive rebound by Matias. Sorry miss. Two sorry misses, but there's the putback by Balti Baltazar. Now uh, that's a problem when you go up against a team as talented. Has complete momentum now in the fourth quarter. They're up by five. Almost halfway done in this frame. Baltazar on the pick and roll. Basket and one. Olsanga. Serrano, two-man game. Enzo spins his way. That's his favorite. Indeed. And ironically, we haven't seen that move in a while. Mac Barakael on the ISO. That's no good. Forward pass. Enzo, one-on-one -on -one action. He has a trailer. And Bahio will finish. And Kaloka, 16 points already. Plus a lot of timely baskets. Well, that's a timely basket by Jennifer Cabana. Kaloka is still fighting for a chance. Mamig dito in the fourth. Cabana, Sanga, all of these guys unable to hit the mark. Even Real Cervantes. Two man game. They pass to the right. MJ for three. Bombs away. MJ scoring in this quarter 21 to 10. Basically, that's the difference of this game. With only two points separating these two in the third. Another signature spin by Enzo Serrano. They haven't really been running anything special. It's just that the two guys running the two man game are very special. Tayong Tong made a two pointer on the other end. Time is running out of the North Division Finals will happen Saturday next week. That's November 11. As Enzo Serrano scores inside. Uh, he's just simply putting the finishing and the rest of his power.